Welcome to a segment of the ShiftCast. If you want to catch the full episode, you can catch that on our YouTube channel or Spotify. Let's get right into it. We've got a segment next up, Rookie of the Season Awards. And here's what we're going to do. We are going to each give you two of our nominees this week, this episode, and we're going to reveal who our Rookie of the Season Award goes to next episode. You're gonna, so you're going to want to tune in. Um, does anyone want to kick it off, or, or I can with my fire. two nominations? Yeah, go I'll for go. it. Go ahead, Andy. All, All right. right. Uh, first up, relevant here because, well, frankly, uh, Tecos has helped give Auction a chance by eliminating Carmine Corp in uh, event number two, or at least knocking them to the lower. Tecos on Su has been the giant slayer. And, and frankly, when he's in the main event as well, he's doing a, a lot of work for that team across mm. two different iterations of the uh, roster in split one and split two. You got to give a shout to Tekos. I think he is a player that you need to keep your eyes on in the coming seasons. Um, from there, I want to shout someone that Yans was praising earlier, uh, Eris on Moist. And, you know, you talked about how recency bias, this and that. But so I used to do... When I first got into Rocket League, I, I wanted to coach. I wanted to coach a professional team. Um, I don't anymore, but that was my ambition when I got in. And so I was coaching bubble teams, and this is like 2019, 2020-ish. And I'm telling you all, Eris has been gross. He has been a very talented player for a long time. And I think there was maybe some maturation that needed to happen before he got onto that professional roster at the highest level. But he's 19 now. And I think, um, you know, obviously some of that stuff must, I think it's fair to assume it's happened. You know, we've grown older. Um, and man, he is just, he's just unreal. I mean, there's a reason that he was getting these um, trial opportunities in the off season. I know a lot of people were like, where, where is he coming from? What is this? Why, why is this happening? Um, similar to Frosty, right? But there's a reason. And it's because he has an unreal mechanical ceiling. I think that was on display this, re uh, this last regional with Moise. He had, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, 100% goal participation. That is Ryan unbelievable. Um, just a, a huge piece of the success that Moist had this season and most recently with their, their best result. So I got to give a shout to Eris and I got to give a shout to Tekos. Those are my two nominees for rookie of the season. Yeah, I can go I next. Oh, no, you go next. You go next. Men mentioned Eris, but I want to shout out another North American young talent, mm. and it is Scribbles from the Snowman. This guy has just been on fire for his team for such, such a young player. He didn't even know he could play, <laughs> remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He woke up uh, one day and, re and like, yeah. he was just allowed to play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's 14 years old and not even turning 15 till November. And he's just been putting up the numbers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull up some st stats, actually. Out of those six regionals, only two of them he dropped below a 1.0 uh, rating across the the whole event. Wow. With uh, one of his highest ratings coming in, in the last regional with a 1.1. I mean, that is just showing he's such a shooter for the team. He's such a scorer. He can do it all. Um, but he's been really getting getting the goals for the snowman. And it's, it's just been really good to watch such a young talent actually actually you know performing to the level people say he could because yeah. there have been people who have been hyped up and it it's not surprising that someone who's barely 15 not even 15 in this case uh sometimes gets hyped up because they've been destroying everyone in ranked and just aren't a good fit for a team or aren't making it happen in ROS. Yes, it, of, I mean, it almost makes sense that it happens quite a bit. Yeah. But for someone like Scribble so, to actually stand up and get those results, I mean, it's amazing. The other one I'm not going to pull up any stats for, my other nomination is Sphinx. Stats would be unfair because it's a completely different region. It's sure. a completely different story. But he has cemented himself as one of, if not the, I want to say, the best player of the region as a rookie this season is he a rookie this season did he play last season i'm going to doubt myself he might have I think, played I think, I think of... he's 15 so i don't yeah, think, I think he would have been able to yeah, play. yeah 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 those were his first regionals and yeah 
just incredible. Mm-hmm. It instantly, instantly went to LAN as well. So cool. And he, and he made people want to watch APEC, which yeah. is something like there's only yeah. a few players that, that, that can say that they have yeah. like Yan and Sam and mm-hmm. uh, Ahmad and Mina. And it's like, it's like those, that's like the pillars. Those are the pillars of regions that, that you build off of. Yeah, because he does it with a lot of flair. And now I don't want to say that having a lot of flair always means you're such an amazing player. There will be more eyes on you because that. That's wrong, though. More yeah. flip resets equal better. Uh, I'm pretty yeah. sure that's how that works. At like, uh, learn ball, <sighs> pal. Uh, the best player in the world is Squishy Muffins. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Thank you. I needed okay. that. Nice. But Michael. Yeah. What What you got for Thanks. us? I got three for you. Uh, Hold on. What? First one Hold is on. Drawly. How are you gonna uh, give us three? I just I, I I you know we had seven. And I realized okay. that it wasn't even. But Guys, the first one is Drawly. Do I need to explain why Drawly no. is a nominee? No. no. Uh, I'm sure he is the favorite to win the award. He is a freak of nature. Spoilers. He is Canadian. He is Spoilers, amazing bro. at the game. Sorry? Spoilers, bro. I said he's a favorite. Okay, chill. <laughs> General Mates <laughs> just won the land. <laughs> like, come on. Okay. If I'm saying the betting favorite, okay, relax. Sure. I got I got some real heavy hitters coming. Okay, I got some really okay. heavy. All right, Drawley. Anyway, Canadian. All right, yeah. I've claimed him, so he is uh, fantastic player, regional winner in Europe, which is incredibly, incredibly hard to do. The literal reigning major champions can't even do it. Apparently, um, brought Monkey Moon back to the top. Some say uh, son of maybe a little illegitimate son of Jane Apps. Uh, Lord knows he's probably eighteen years old than <laughs> the kid. Um, and uh, you know. I just love him. I just love him. I can't wait to see him uh, in this sort of postseason part of the RCS. I thought you said should shouldn't they explain it. What are you doing? I want to, yeah, I want to talk about who's Canadian. <laughs> like, leave you, I don't I'm talking about his play. I just want to talk about playing it. Day one, Swift. One original <laughs> Sam. I think uh had a little bit of a, an adjustment period, but I think kind of proved why he is who he is on the second half of the season. Um excited to see where he goes. And then the last one, I'm gonna keep it short. I think he should be on this list even though I know he had uh, some off-the-field stuff happen. But he is a kid, and I do really, really hope. It seems like, at least from his response to it, that he's going to try to be a better person going forward. Uh, and that's Nupo. Uh, you know, what he's done off the off the field, does, or off the pitch, e-pitch, does not uh, take away from his first split, where a lot of people were calling him, you know, the future of that region. Um, but, yeah, we'll leave it at that. That's it. One of these people will be crowned the valedictorian next week. All right. My money's on Eris because he's from NA. But, um, you know, there's a ton of other players as well that deserve a little bit of a shout out. I'm going to read them off now uh, because I wrote them down uh, because I want, you know, the shift next up. It's not about the best player, to be honest with you. It's about creating a a, a database um, or a, a place where players who are working really hard and maybe just haven't hit that top tier yet can be, you know, Recognized for their talents. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because yeah. it doesn't happen. The Zens and the Sphinxes and the and the Drollies and the Beast Modes, that doesn't happen all the time. Most players that are at the top of RLCS now spent years and years grinding the bubble. And so I want to talk about some of the other ones. Wavy and Creams from TSM were really, really fun. Loved me some power friendship all this year. Uh, Frosty and Reveal, Scribbles as teammates. Or sorry, Frosty... No, Frosty wasn't nominated. Frosty and Reveal, and then uh, Eris's teammate Five Up are NA. Uh, were I think all mainstays in NA discourse in NA or LCS this year. EU Toxic Seamus, uh, who actually I believe team now, right there. Uh, yeah, no, no, they don't. I lied. Um, at, uh, I'm thinking of I get them all mixed up. Toxic and Seamus, and then Eugen and Temper, all different, four different nationalities. Four different nationalities, Europe, baby. Um, and I want to shout out Triton as well, uh, who I think had a pretty good season and is a shift cast friend of the show. Mm-hmm. Um, Sw- uh, Diaz from Sam. I know he was kind of back and forth with Swift as the the next prodigy, but I think he had quite a good year and he landed himself a, a big, big spot on complexity. The boys from Team ROC, Team Rock, Dr. Known, Noosh, and Ops. Uh, oh, they were the most fun story, I think, in all of Mina this year. Uh, watching yeah. them grow up in front of our eyes. And I, I think that team 
a little bit like the Mina Snowmen. Like we're going to see them, you know, yeah. maybe grow together next year, maybe get on other top teams. OCE prompt from Ground Zero. Ground Zero took a risk uh, dropping their contending roster for a young up and coming roster. Um, and I think prompt has been the one that's really shown the most uh, belief in that system for, for ground zero. Uh, N- N- Nai or nay from Nia, uh, APAC who had a really, really good season in his first, in his first or second year. And then we got to shout out the boy 13 years old in an SSA event. Uh, test, test cow, test show. Test show. Um, sorry. Test show. I mean, it's test French, show. right? Yeah. It's a yeah. union. So yeah. test show. Test show. Um, I mean, listen, last thing you want to hear if you're a if you're a, a, a grifter trying to win SSA events from Europe is that there's a 13 year old French prodigy over there because he's basically <laughs> just back to square one, right? Um, but yeah, shout out to Next Up, shout out to everyone at Shift that worked on Next Up. I did not really do anything. I just put together a ballot every once in a while. But Elliot's machine, uh, Finnard, doing great work. So as well. much talent in this world, and I can't yeah. wait to see it. <clears throat> Such a such an incredibly cool piece of content, such a cool project. And, and like Ian said, the, the whole point of it is to shine a light on this upcoming talent. Imagine you rewind three, four years ago, and there's a next up list, and it's highlighting Vatira, Rise, Joyo, Seiko, Drolly in a couple years. Like you would well, Drolly would have been there, right? It, we, there's so, there's so, like you said, there's so much talent. And these could be. You know, I'm rattling all these names. This could be in two years. That's your next monkey move. That's yeah. your next, uh, you know, that's your next uh, Batira. That's your next Itachi. So keep your eyes on these players. If they continue to stay the course and continue to grind, I'm sure they will be some superstars in the coming years. Thank you for watching this segment of the Shiftcast. If you want to catch the full episode, check it on our YouTube channel or on Spotify. We'll catch you next time.